Hello dear friends, this is Hello Hollywood. That means you're in for some exciting news. Let's get started. Michael Jackson's debts reportedly totaled more than $500 million at the time of his death in 2009. This staggering amount was made public in a petition filed by Jackson's executors in Los Angeles County Superior Court on 21st of June. The petition highlights that Jackson was in financial trouble, including a $40 million liability to AEG Live, the promoter of his cancelled This Is It concert tour in London. Court documents showed that Jackson was in debt to more than 65 creditors at the time of his death. The petition asks for approval to release funds from Jackson's estate, which currently stands at $2 billion to reimburse legal fees and other 2018 expenses. The executors have been successful in settling or dismissing most of these claims and lawsuits. At the time of Michael Jackson's death, Michael Jackson's most significant assets were subject to more than $500 million in debts and creditor claims, with some debts accruing interest at extremely high rates and some debts being delinquent. The executors, with the assistance of their legal team, worked to bring all debts up to date and negotiated and restructured the debts at interest rates much more favorable to the estate so that the estate was able to and did fully pay off all the debts that had so heavily burdened Michael Jackson during his lifetime. On 25 June 2009, Jackson tragically died at the age of 50 in his Los Angeles mansion from acute propofol intoxication. His personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray, was found guilty of involving voluntary manslaughter in 2011 for administering the drug. Dr. Murray served about two years in the Los Angeles County Jail and was released in October 2013. So there you have it dear friends, share this video and leave your comments, bye.